three body problem? I've got a one body problem, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, do you? A new show from the creators of the highly successful and mostly highly rated Game of Thrones series, David Benoff and D.B. West. You know these guys? Everyone was really liking their direction and really happy with Game of Thrones. And then suddenly season 7 and 8 came out and people acted like they were cancerous to the entertainment industry and just an abomination. Just horrible, horrible people. So what did they do with this show? Is this any good? Let's find out. So, Three Body Problem stars Benedict Wong, Liam Cunningham, Jovan Adepo, Isa Gonzalez, Jess Hong, and a lot of other people. And what is this show about? Basically, somebody in 1960s makes a decision that reverberates into the present day with shocking consequences, including the mysterious death of multiple scientists, strange things happening in the skies, and very high-tech VR headsets showing up in random people's homes. This show is part sci-fi and part mystery, but all interesting. <laughs> One thing I think Apple TV Plus does really well is sci-fi. I am very excited to see someone else stepping into that realm and delivering something that is overall pretty entertaining. The sci-fi elements of the show really drew me in. It was very mesmerizing. And the mystery, it was a slow burn, but it was also keeping me intrigued. I wanted to find out what was going on. I kept clicking next. I was watching the next episodes as fast as I could. There was something very mysterious going on. And with each episode, the mystery kind of deepened. I found myself finally like successfully guessing things in the show as well, which made me feel, you know, basically like a genius. I was just like, oh, <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I just called it. So while you're watching the show, you're probably going to notice there is a few actors from the Game of Thrones series in this show, including Sir Davos, Liam Cunningham, John Bradley, Sam. We have Jonathan Price, who played the High Sparrow. There's other people in there as well, but I can't remember all of them from the top of my head. But yeah, it was really cool seeing these guys. I wouldn't be surprised if even more actors from Game of Thrones show up in season two if we get a season two. And that is a big if, you know, Netflix lately, they're like the chop stuff. This show has a very strange title, Three Body Problem. What does that mean exactly? Well, it's a scientific term and let me explain it. In a quick summary, science has been able to predict within reason how two gravitational objects will behave around each other, the path they will take and when it will happen. However, when you introduce a third gravitational object, it creates an impossible scenario that can't be figured out because there are too many outcomes. The third object would create chaos causing the objects to move around in ways that can't be predicted. So what does this have to do with the show? Well, this is a sci-fi show and this is a scientific question and it helps to explain why the mysterious beings that are uh, coming to see us are coming. Interesting side note, while I was doing the research to make this video, something knocked on the wall in my studio and it freaked me the F out. I was sitting here calm, just doing some light reading, and all of a sudden this sound came. I jumped up, I checked outside, I walked around the perimeter of my house. There was nothing there. That is very strange, especially considering I was researching and doing stuff for this show, which has aliens. Overall, this show is a bit of a slow burn, but that is because there is more to the story to tell. This is based on a book series, and the other seasons, if they get renewed, will address those other books, and then we'll get more of our answers. But until then, we are left with some questions, and yeah, just a lot of questions, actually. But this show is beautifully made. It has amazing visuals, fantastic sound. I wish that it had a nice opening credit scene. They had an opening credit in the very first episode, and then after that, it was like the shortened version of the credits. Please don't do away with credit scenes. I really like them. I never skip the credits. I don't know why this show doesn't have it, especially when you have Ramin Jawadi doing the sound. Come on, guys. But yeah, it's a small gripe. I would say this show is well worth a watch. It's very bingeable. I think that because of the slowness of it and just the lack of clarity and lack of answers that you get, it overall is going to feel like more of an introductory. It kind of feels like Game of Thrones Season 1. Game of Thrones Season 1, it didn't really hook me in until Season 2 came out. Season 1, I was like, okay, who's this? Who's that? Who's this? Who's that? You get a lot of that in this show as well. So naturally, 
it's not going to be as highly rated, in my opinion. I would give this show 7.5 out of 10. I am not saying that this is a bad show. I think you should definitely watch this show because it has a lot going for it. And it's going to entertain you, especially if you're into sci-fi, if you're into mysteries. But those are my opinions. You know, what did you think? Did you watch this show yet? I did not read the books, so I am not familiar with the source material. Therefore, there's probably so much that I don't understand that book people are going to be like, oh, well, you should have figured that out by now. But yeah, I didn't read the book. So I don't know everything, but I think it's highly entertaining. What did you think? If you want to watch the show, let me know. If you think this is a good video, please hit the like button and let me know. And as always, if you want to see more reviews from me, please subscribe to my channel. And that's all I have to say. Later.